Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMC. In this video, we are going to learn the order property of multiplication in class 2. Let us see what does the order property of multiplication mean. Two numbers can be multiplied in any order. The product remains the same. Let me read it once again for you. Two numbers can be multiplied in any order. The product remains the same. Let us understand this with the help of several examples. First, we have four stars in a group. Another four stars in the second group. Another four stars in the third group. Another four stars in the fourth group. And another four stars in the fifth group. How do you say this? We have five groups of four stars in each of it. And what is the total number of stars now? 4 plus 4, 8. 8 plus 4, 12. 12 plus 4, 16. 16 plus 4, 20. So we say this as, there are five groups of four stars each, which makes 20 stars. In multiplication statement, how do you write this? 5 into 4 is equal to 20, where 5 means the number of groups and 4 means the number of stars in each group. So, 5 into 4 is equal to 20. Let us take another situation where you have 5 stars in one group, another 5 stars in the second group, another 5 stars in the third group and another 5 stars in the fourth group. Now, how do you say this? There are four groups of five stars in each of it. And now the total number of stars will be 5 plus 5, 10, 10 plus 5, 15, 15 plus 5, 20. So four groups of five stars in each of it makes 20 stars. And the multiplication statement will be 4 into 5 is equal to 20, where 4 means the number of groups and 5 means the number of stars in each group. And again, the multiplication statement will be 4 into 5 is equal to 20. So, this satisfies the statement, two numbers can be multiplied in any order. The product remains the same. 5 into 4 is equal to 20. 4 into 5 is equal to 20. So, understanding this in a simpler way, two numbers, 5 and 4 are two different numbers. When you multiply them in any order, 5 into 4 or 4 into 5, you get the same product 20. Once the children are clear with this property, we can give them several activities based on this. For understanding the basics of multiplication, I have a separate video. Please look into that video, the link to which is given below in the description box and also in the iCard section. Next, the first activity that we are going to see is 3 into 4 is equal to 12. What is 4 into 3? To do these activities, children should be familiar with 2, 5 and 10 tables and also 3, 4 and 6 tables, which they must have learned at the beginning of their class 2. I have dealt with these topics on how to write 2, 5 and 10 tables and how to understand and write 3, 4 and 6 tables in separate videos. Links to those videos are given below in the description box and also in the iCard section. Now that the children are familiar with 3, 4, 2, 5 and 10 tables and 6 tables, let us do these activities now. 3 into 4 is equal to 12. So, what is 4 into 3? 4 threes are 12. And this also satisfies the order property of multiplication. Did you see that? 3 into 4 or 4 into 3 will give you the same answer 12. 2 into 5 is equal to 10. What is 5 into 2? 5 into 2 is also equal to 10. As the children are familiar with tables, they can just quickly revise their tables and check if their answer is correct. 5 into 2 is 10. Next. 6 into 3 is equal to 18. What is 3 into 6? 3 6 are 18. So this also satisfies the order property of multiplication. 4 into 10 is equal to 40. What is 10 into 4? 
10 into 4 is also equal to 40. Next, 5 into 6 is equal to 30. What is 6 into 5? 6 into 5 is also equal to 30. It was an interesting exercise, isn't it? Let us do another type of exercise now. 5 into 2 is equal to dash into 5 is equal to another dash. Let us first fill up the first dash. 5 into 2 is equal to dash into 5. As per the order property of multiplication, 5 into 2 is equal to 2 into 5. And what is 5 into 2 or 2 into 5? The product remains the same, 10. See, such interesting activities make the children think. So, once the children are clear with the property and tables, we can frame several such activities. 2 into 6 is equal to dash into 2. What is the answer? 6. 2 into 6 or 6 into 2 will give you the same product, 12. 4 into 5 is equal to dash into 4. What is the answer? 4 into 5 is equal to 5 into 4. And the product will be 20. 3 into 4 is equal to dash into 3. What is the answer? Yes, 4 is the answer. And what is the product you get? 3 into 4 or 4 into 3 will give you the same product, 12. Next, 6 into 3 is equal to dash into 6. 6 into 3 is equal to 3 into 6. And the product will be 18. And the last sum we are going to see is 2 into 10 is equal to dash into 2. I have framed the questions keeping in mind that the children know 2, 5, 10, 3, 4 and 6 tables. We can frame any such combination such as the children's learning outcome. 2 into 10 is equal to 10 into 2 and the product will be 20. Dear viewers, these are all the learning outcome in class 2 under the topic multiplication for the children of which I have covered the first topic, Introduction to Multiplication, How to Write the 2, 5 and 10 tables, How to Write 3, 4 and 6 tables, How to Do Multiplication of 2, 5 and 10 tables on Number Line, Multiplication of 3, 4 and 6 tables on Number Line and each of these topics have been dealt with in separate videos. And now in this video we saw Order Property of Multiplication. In my upcoming videos, we will be dealing with two digit by single digit multiplication without regrouping and then with regrouping of ones, tens and both ones and tens. After that, the topic that we will be dealing with is solve story sums applying multiplication in two ways and then finally, we will do mental math and multiplication worksheet which will cover all these concepts. Each of these topics will be dealt with in separate videos and link to all the related videos will be given below in the description box for your quick and easy access. You may also click on the in-screen video which will take you to the playlist containing class 2 multiplication videos. Thank you for watching my video. See you in the next video with the next topic in multiplication for class 2. If you like the quality of my video, give a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button for regular notifications of all the new videos that I make in my channel. See you again.